Hello and welcome. Today in this video I am going to show you how to get layer profiles plotted by using Laney outputs and a bit of Python scripting. So this video is based on an issue opened by the user Scott Lee. In this conversation that you can find in Laney's repository in the issue number 78, Scott was asking how he can plot layer profiles using some data that he processed. And I was giving a couple of pointers and we were discussing. And at the end, it turns out that maybe I can show some details of how to get the laminar profiles a bit more uh, properly. Okay, the first thing we are going to have a look at, or I would like you to see, is the existence of a repository called Laney Extras. So in this Laney Extras repository, like I and Renzo are sharing some of our auxiliary or supporting scripts to analyze some Laney data or get other things, combine them with other software and so forth. And here you can see that there's a folder called demo plot layer profiles. And inside there are three Python programs that uses matplotlib library to plot some layer profiles. And here we are going to plot them in three ways, scatter plot, 2D histogram and line plot. Okay, so first have a look at Scott's data. And in the previous video, by the way, we have solved another issue with his data set. Namely, we made the data array dimensions equal after re-slicing them. So now let's remember what we had. So we had the rim data set for segmentations. Then we had a statistical map. Here you can see. And we had a region of interest. I can load it as a segmentation. And now let's have a look at this ROI. You can see that this ROI is a bit too large in a way that it includes some white matter and outside of gray matter voxels. Let's have a look how the plotting scripts would behave just with these inputs. So first have a look at the 2D scatter plot. And here I have put as a knee metric Scott's metric equidist file, equidistant depth measurements. And for the ROI, I put his region mask that is re-sliced to be at the same resolution as the rim file. And for the scalar map, that is a statistical map or can be anything that is a scalar, I used his statistical map that is called CON002. Okay, so these inputs are properly set in the script. Now let's go to the folder where my Python script resides. And let's call the script by typing python and layer profiles scatter plot. So once I run this script, it will give such an output. You can see that there are many data points for the cortical depths above 0 and below 1. However, there are many points at 0. Why? The reason is that because the region of interest mask is a bit too large. So how can we make it smaller? to get rid of these zero boxes. I mean, there are other ways, but now this is one way of dealing with it. So now let's make use of our handy little program that is Nemat. And let's have our rim file segmentation, which had gray matter as the value number three. And now let's make everything value number three equal to zero by using the thr3 command in Nemat. And let's save the output as, let's call it dream gray matter. Okay. Once we load this file, we see that now only remains is the gray matter with the label still being three, but it doesn't matter now. Okay. So now let's use Nemat again. First, let's start with the region of interest mask of Scott. And let's mask it with our gray matter region by using the mask command. Okay, let's call this masked, gray matter masked. So once we load this gray matter masked file, and here, like so, now we see that our region of interest mask is only 
constraint to be at voxels labeled as gray matter. Okay, now let's get this file quickly and change our ROI text in our script. And now let's rerun our script. So here you can see that those voxels that are at zero are vanished. And now we are left with our um, data that is only within the gray matter. So scatter plot is useful to some degree. I actually like to plot 2D histograms. So let's see how the 2D histograms would look. To do that, I'm just going to copy this file and adjust the second script that is called 02 layer profiles 2D histogram. Okay. And now I'm just going to call that script Python to the histogram. And this gives me a nice to the histogram with the voxel counts. So in this region, the values, whatever this statistical map is, actually it looks pretty smooth. So I'm not sure uh, what type of detail we can extract from it, but it looks as so fine. Maybe one can imagine that there is some linear trend towards the superficial layers because zero labels white matter. Okay, to investigate that, we can actually plot a line profile rather than scatter plot or 2D histogram. I go to my line plot script and I, in a similar way, update my ROI to be the masked ROI. And now I'm going to plot my line profile. Okay, so this is a line profile of Scott's region of interest that is binned at this um, scatter plot slash histogram space to, to be at 21 um, layers. And we see the following trend, which seems to be a steady increase on average from the deep layers towards the superficial layers with some uh, like elbows here. I mean, I don't know what uh, exactly this means. Uh, I don't have further information on Scott's experiment, but this is a way how you can quickly plot with the right inputs your layer profiles. Thanks for listening. See you another day.